everybody. This is Money Mom. Welcome back to the channel. I wanted to talk to you guys briefly about the one area in my life where I feel like I'm a semi-minimalist. Let me get started. I love to read, but one thing that I've learned not to do anymore is to purchase books without reading them first. And what I mean by that is many times you can take them out at the library. The reason why is very few books that I've read, whether it's fiction or nonfiction, are a book that I want to consider a keepsake, something I always want. So you end up with all these books that you maybe aren't really interested in reading again. And as a matter of fact, recently, no names mentioned, I've read three self-help books through our lo local library through the uh, this app program on my phone, Libby, and love the app. But to be honest, it wouldn't be a book that I'd want to buy to have as a keepsake. You know, I've read them, I got something out of the book, but it wouldn't be something that I would always refer to. I wanted to show you a few of my books and a few of my favorite books. But for me, reading, before I actually want to keep a book that I can go back and either want to read it again or refer to it again, I want it as a keepsake. And as a matter of fact, before I did this video, I got rid of a couple more books. So I'm going to show you a couple favorites. I'm going to show you a couple of my favorite children's books. This is my all-time favorite children's book, The Giving Tree. I've always loved it. I'd like to know if any of you like it. One of my other very favorite children's books is Corduroy. So those are a couple favorites. Now, a couple other favorites that I have, and we've spoken about these millions of times, and I've actually spoken to her on the phone twice, is Amy Decision, the Tightwad Gazette series. Love these. These are not books I'd want to loan out, really and I like to keep them and I will always want to have them. So that's another example. Now, when we were talking about self-help books, I wanted to mention to you three books that I really like that I always want to keep is Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill, How to Win Friends and Influence People by Dale Carnegie, The Friendship Factor by Alan Loy McGinnis. So those are just a few examples. I really like Dale Carnegie. I really, I really like um, Alan Lloyd McGinnis. I think there's some really good books out here to read. I just wanted to show you. I also wanted to show you a book from when I was a little girl. I loved classics, and one of my favorites. And this is from 1977. Well, not written in 1977. I received it in 1977. Little Women. I love classics like Little Women. Little Men, Rebecca, Sunnybrook Farm. So these are just like a few of the books that I've kept. But I really don't have that many books because I don't really keep or refer back to very many books. I would love to know how you guys feel. Do you enjoy reading Do you and do you purchase a lot of books? I rarely spend very much money on books. I usually, like I said, take it out from the library even if I have to wait read it and see if it's something that I want as a keepsake that I'll always refer back to. And I feel that way with many types of books. I'd love to hear from you guys. Number one, what's what are some of your favorite books that you really love that you want as a keepsake? And number two, what's your favorite children's book? I'd love to hear from you guys. This is Money Mom signing off and as always I love you. Bye bye.